It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. When I seen this beer, I had a right old chuckle to myself. <laughs> Let me start at the beginning though. A few years ago, Brewdog, probably eight years ago actually, Brewdog bought out a beer called Lost Lager. A Planet First Lager at 4.5% ABV. 440 milliliter. It's okay. It's not a bad beer, Lost Lager, actually. I, I find it quite pleasant. But <laughs> Aldi just have this way, don't they? Of, um, they're getting cheekier, though. They're getting cheekier and cheekier. But they just have this way of kind of ripping off other companies with their kind of brands. <laughs> and they get as close as they possibly can without going to court type of thing with, with copyright claims and all the rest of it. So the reason why I laugh so much is you've got Lost Lager over here and they brought out a beer called Found. <laughs> Lost and Found. I, I just, when I seen that, there's a, there was a woman in the, in the supermarket in Aldi, like walking kind of near me and I just started laughing. She probably thought, look at that them in that case over there laughing to himself. But I, I just found it very humorous. Lost and Found. Uh, so this is a 4% ABV uh, crafted Pilsner, they're saying. So I'm going to put up Aldi's found against Brewdog's lost and see which one is best. The Brewdog cost me £2.50 in my local Tesco. The found in my local Aldi was £1.95. Without further ado, glasses. I'll be back when I got some glasses. There we go. The benefits of editing. Let's get Brewdog's Lost Lager out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening, beer in the glass. We have a three finger white head, good levels of carbonation, straw colored beer, looks really good. Looks really, really good. Right, Aldi's anti-establishment. So that's their kind of, Brewdog, as most people know, started off, they were driving tanks down the road and setting, blowing up big beer. They were doing everything kind of anti-establishment, weren't they? And uh, so Aldi have called their brew dog fake beers anti-establishment. It's all very hysterical, I think. I think it's all rather funny. So beer in the glass, we've got a two finger a white head, good levels of carbonation rolling up the glass. Yeah, and it's more of a, this is more of a, a deeper amber coloured lager. Yeah, it's slightly darker than the Brewdog Lost Lager. Which is interesting, they've chosen to use a slightly darker malt to have Aldi and it's 4% ABV, so it's half a percent less than the, the brew dog. Uh, we'll have a look at where this brewed and whatnot in a moment, but let's get into this found then by Aldi. Let's get the aroma. It's a little estery, little kind of yeasty. Little peppery and spicy. Little lemon light coming through. It smells okay, actually. It smells okay. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. 55 pence cheaper per can.
It's not bad actually. A little hiss and fizz of carbonation, pushing the beer on the inside of the mouth. Very crisp, very refreshing, very clean like. It's definitely got a biscuity kind of malty flavour coming through. It's quite bitter, quite bitter on the back end. That bitterness is probably a little bit astringent, a little bit, not too much. But I like that kind of stinging nettle kind of Pilsner-like flavour. Quite good. Now, for Brewdog's Lost Lager, the real deal, the original. They're very similar, both quite tasty actually, both quite tasty, both quite good. Um, what I'm finding with the Brewdog, the Brewdog Lost Lager, is that it's slightly drier. It's leaving a more kind of drying sensation on the palate. And that, in my experience, is the lighter malts that they've used. It's lighter, it's drier, it's crisper. It's Probably, if I'm being perfectly honest with you, more like a Pilsner than Aldi's found. And this is probably the first time when I've done these battles. I've done a lot of these kind of battle videos between different beers. This is probably the first time that I've actually kind of looked at the original beer and gone, actually, it's more akin, it's more like a pilsner it's more like a clean crisp pilsner than aldi's aldi's is Saying that Aldi's is good. Aldi's is really good as well. Um, oh, this is going to be a real test. This is going to be a real, real kind of battle video, this, in my mind. Because I'm tasting both beers and I'm liking both beers. But both beers are slightly different. One, the, the, the found by Aldi is slightly sweeter. But I quite like the balance. I quite like that kind of malt first and then that lovely bitter hop finish on the back end. Whereas the Brewdog beer is more Pilsner-like. It's, it's more peppery, spicy, drying. Probably a little bit crisper. Do you know, I think this is all going to boil down to the price. This is going to boil down to the price. I think if you... They're very... They are very similar. They are, they are very, very similar beers. Aldi's is a little bit sweeter. Brewdog's is a little bit drier and probably a little bit more crisper. But, you're being asked, and, I, and I'm using little bits here. And when I mean little bits, I mean like, I'm having to think really, really hard about differences in these 
beers. I think for your normal man on the street who just likes to crack a can and drink a can, I think for the majority of people, how close this these two beers are to one another, I think price will play a major factor. Do you want to pay 55 pence a can more for Brewdog Lost Lager, or do you want to save 55 pence a can? So if you bought four cans, that's £2.20 over four cans. And it, it, it's marginal. It's absolutely marginal. I'm going to give this beer battle two ratings. I think that's the fair thing to do. Purely on beer, purely on the winner of what is the best tasting beer, I'm going to say it's Brewdog's Lost Lager. I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10, whereas I'm going to give the Aldi Anti-Establishment Found a 7 out of 10. There's nothing in it, nothing in it. But for price, if you want to then factor in the price point, £2.20, if you're going to buy yourself four cans, 55 pence per can cheaper, the Aldi found anti-establishment. Then I'm going to have to give the Aldi as a second rating, I'm going to give the Aldi an 8 out of 10 and I'm going to give the Brewdog a 7 out of 10. Have I made sense? I think I've been as fair as I possibly can with this beer review. If you're looking to save a little bit of money, choose the Aldi anti-establishment found. If you're looking purely for taste, buy the Brewdog Lost Lager. I hope you like this video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.